What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, check this out. Check this out. Yesterday, Fritos Mas Grande, AKA my oldest brother and I, went lobster. And I know you're thinking right now, why are you showing me lobster? This is a Cabrera video. Well, guess what? It is a Cabrera video, and we're about to get to it. Look at that, though. So Kelly, her mom was down in the Keys, and she had to help with her grandma and do some things around her mom's house. She didn't get to go with us. She didn't eat, get to eat fresh lobster, so I saved her the biggest one and made it for her. You guys, though, we're going to get to the Cabrera in a second. We have to talk you through it. Now stay right there because I want to surprise them. Okay. We got to surprise you all about something. There's two things. There's been a death in my family that Kelly doesn't even know yet. That's pretty terrible. And there's something really good. So we got a positive and a negative. Let me see. Look at, look at that thing. Look at that, though. Oh my Shout out, Grace Taxidermist. That's the 84-pound black grouper. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what up, Cap? What's up? <laughs> that we caught last year with my buddy, and I'll put the link to that video in the description below in Naples. And then we have this bad boy. That is the 20 plus pound mutton snapper that we caught this year. That is a stud mutton there, Bubba. Hey, 50 pound test on a Bonita strip. There you go. <laughs> hey, Britos Mas Grande. Look at that giant. And I'll put the link to that in the description below too. That was the biggest mutton I ever caught. But now to the death of the family. And this is, this hits hard because he's been with me my entire YouTube career. No. I came in today. I don't know if you noticed when I was pulling the lobster off all my laundry right there, that's because our dryer broke, so we went old school. And I'm like, why is Frank upside down? Mm. Frank finally kicked the bucket. Almost two good years with that crab. And a lot of people said eat him, a lot of people didn't say eat him. They said don't eat him, so I went with not eating him. And he croaked at the ripe old age of two. <laughs> that's sad though. I gotta get him out of there. He is just huge. I know he didn't die from anything, you know, wrong with the tank because everything else is fine. He's just old. Lately, he's been getting real old and decrepit. All right, babe, explain, explain us into this Cabrera video. All right. Like, what see. was going down? Where to start? You were cleaning fish, and we were ending a video that we were filming there, and it just so happens that you caught the one lobster that we saw that day. And we happened to use that lobster to catch this monster fish right off the dock in five, six foot of crystal clear water. So this video, I'd like to say everything happens for a reason. And if the lobster that we caught in Calabria wasn't molting, his shell wouldn't have been soft. And the only reason we were able to get the lobster head back on a hook is because the shell was soft. There it is. Right here. Go that way. No, but... Look at him, bro. He wants to beat the tarpons. Beat all eso. Holy wow. smokes. Oh my god. I'm excited to eat this. Look at that bad boy. I didn't eat anything because I knew you were making this, so I'm so hungry. All right, you guys. So we're going to take it back to Calebra, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, where we're trying to hook the lobster head because we've already cleaned the lobster and threw the head in the water prior to the Cabrera swimming up. So he's sitting there looking at it. We've got to get the lobster head back to hook it on a normal hook and catch it. Now, I'm not gonna cut this video at all from here on out. It's raw. It's how it happened, the total length of how long it took, all the way to the bitter end. It's gonna be so hard. Oh, look at you, professional. You go. Good job. Stomp your, job. take your foot and stomp on it, hook it on a hook and throw it out there All right, wait, one second. This is gonna get you wrecked. No, 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 no! What? The tar don't let the tarpon eat it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, perfect. Let me see Cubera, bro. All right, here it comes. Okay. You just got him, you just got him. Oh. That fish is gonna take you to the cleaner. You don't even know he's hooked yet. 
He's going. Oh, we should definitely have a boat in the water. Yeah. Can we? You I got your keys to your boat? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is a fish hey, of a get lifetime. This, get this right here. Nothing. All right, we gotta go. He's gonna go straight to the dock. All right, so Gabe uh, was cleaning the fish, and then he said, "Oh, a hundred pound cubera." I'm like, "No way! I've been living all my life here. I've never seen, you know, a big fish like this so close to shore." So when I came, I was like, "No way! I couldn't believe it." And I don't know. We just hooked it with a lobster. So let's see if we can land it. I think it's like at least 80 pounds, or at least. Or more. Did I call it with the lobster? I knew the tarpon wouldn't eat it. Bro, yeah. Everything you said happened and like I got a circle hook here. No wire, so it should be on the corner of the mouth. Yeah. I just now that we're on a boat, yeah. I wouldn't horse him too tremendously bad. Okay. But if he can get you to a dock, he's going to. Okay. Just tell me what to do and I'll just follow the fish, eh? Hey? Should I go slowly? Yeah, you're doing perfect. You're doing perfect right now. Neutral. I uh, don't have a net or anything. Nothing. Are we Nothing. getting him? We can rotate him. This guy, what the heck? He's going to the left, Alberto. Okay? What's the odds of that? Sure, I don't know. It's a big boy, man. Like, I've never seen what a What pound drag is that real? Drag? What do you mean? Like, how many pounds drag does that reel have? Right now? I don't know. I feel like maybe 15 pound? 12 pound of drag, maybe? I don't know. I got 50 pound, 60 pounds. We need to try to stay right up on top of him. Easy with, you know, not too much. They got sharp gill yeah. plates too. Okay, neutro. I always say on my channel, you always got to be an opportunistic. That fish is bumping a hundred pounds. In five foot of water. That's incredible. And we got the bite on camera. On camera and possibly underwater. Like this is... What do we do about videos now? Do we like start a new one or... I don't know. We Feel that do. mean head shake? I would go to the right and try to block him from getting in that dock. Okay. Let's go back there. Yes, let's go back there. 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 Muy bien. This will be like a, a special, like a like okay, massive no, cubera special, and then we'll put it somewhere. If we can get this in the water and take a picture, this it will be like a dream. Because we don't get... If we get him tired, what we need to do we'll, is get him to shallow water. Yeah, we will. I know Salty Crew is getting a big shout out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need my sunglasses to get to the shore later. Is he hung in a rock? No. Nope. Nope. I don't think there's any rocks here. So no. It's all like grass. What I see happening is us getting really, really tired yeah. and easing him in there. That way you can also get him going again when we go to turn him loose. Yeah. Okay, no, pero sigue metiendo el guía. A la derecha ahí. He's just sitting on the bottom like a stingray. Si se abre para acá afuera, estoy en el bote con chispa, con una caña, 
peleando un cubera snapper de como 80 libras. I'm happy he has that real. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, get him on this el, side with the sun. You're glad I caught that one lobster now, huh? It's like it was literally meant to be the one lobster. And the lobster's body was soft. I pulled his outer shell off and it's perfect. Wow. It's literally meant to be. He's getting tired. Yeah. We, we need to time. start bumping him to yeah. the beach. Okay, dale para un poquito, suavecito. He's right there, I see color. Yeah, there he is. Suavecito, Alberto, lo tengo debajo del bote. He's got some more runs in him. Okay, look at him. Oh my God. Vete para otro lado. No, tranquilo, tranquilo, sigue ahí, sigue ahí, sigue ahí, sigue ahí. Neutro, le va neutro. I mean, we just touched the leader. Can you even tell where all this is? Start trying to bump to that, right into the beach. Excuse me? Here, Cal. Oh. Tell me what, are, what do you want hey, me to do? Hey, we're ready. Can you give it? Can you can you go forward, please? Yeah, dale. go to the beach. Go to the beach. Dale para la playita. Dale, dale, dale. Vamos, guys, right, right, right on the corner, bro. Dale, dale para la playita. That's what corner hook. That's what circle hooks do. He ain't going nowhere. Just don't break him off. Okay, sigue sigue hacia adelante. Ya lo tenemos. Go to the beach right there. Con calma. Neutral. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. You can get it, bro. You think that? Want to kill him? Otro, 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 otro. Oh, oh, my what? God. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh sorry, but gosh. we gotta get him to shallow water. Oh my goodness! I bet those. Hey, vamos a estar mira, viste la esquina de la boca, lo que te dije, no te mucho. Let's see. Be careful. Don't put him in the water. Oh, 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 Ooh, he's gonna bite you. Bite your goodness. Yeah. <laughs> giant. Giant fish. He's not hurt. We're gonna go put him in the water and get some awesome pictures. Make sure he's completely revived. Ooh. We need to get a. Watch this. Watch this. This fish is a dinosaur. Don't get bit. It's on the outside of his gills. It cannot hurt him. If I would have went through his gills, it would have been really bad. Carlos, he's good. You walking your dog? I can do it with my cell phone. He would swim away right now completely unharmed. I'm on the outside of his gills, which means his gills are perfectly safe. Teamwork. That's so sick, bro. Oh my god, that's like a fish of my dreams, bro. I can't believe it. Now look, when we take this leash off of whatever we want to name him, yeah, he can easily get away. So we got to get the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I want, I want to look. Take... That fish is perfectly. Oh my god. Just the same as he was when we caught him. Oh my god, that's such a magnificent beast, man. Yeah. You guys got to get this picture. Go. Yeah. One, two, three. Hold on. Let me get my hand out of his belly. So he's fat. Right there. Go. One, two, three. Cheap oh, oh. Where to go? You got it. Sir. We're going to go out this way where it's clear. That's a. That's insane. On the big That's insane. Yeah. On the other Chipa. side. Alberto, buen trabajo. Ready? Yeah. Watch this old dinosaur. Like nothing ever happened. Oh, look at Perfect. that. Puerto yes. Rico. All right. Hey, Carlos. Thanks, buddy. That was awesome. Carlos. We caught one lobster today. He happened to be a softy, which means he was getting ready to shed. If he would have been hard, we couldn't have hooked the hook in it. It was, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. I don't, I don't even know where I cook at at this point. I guess <laughs> we can make a 35, 40 minute long video, I reckon. I think this can be its own video in itself. This is definitely 10 minutes. And you got it. I got some thumbnails. <laughs> you got that wow. right. Hey, 
we'll end it right here then and we're gonna pick back up on the second video of Puerto Rico 80 hundred pounds I don't know we didn't want to weigh him we didn't want to hurt him for all you who think we hurt him you watch him swim away he did not have one scratch inside of his gills I know what I'm doing with that but stay tuned for look he just said he's going out that way perfect right yeah right here perfectly fine yes. he'll be back yes. to eating right now even how he's remora back yeah his remora he got his back again yeah his remora got his back again. <laughs> hey, we got video number four of Puerto Rico coming tomorrow. Uh, what you got there, Gabe? I got a grande. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this video is over though. That was a surpriser. We didn't know. We were cleaning fish. There he popped up. Those are the best ones. We're in Calabria. This is the first video you've seen so far. We're in Calabria, Puerto Rico. We started in San Juan. What's the North Island, North Town we went to? Cabo Rojo. Cabo Rojo. Northwest. We, northwest, where we caught the giant dolphin. Hey, we got so much more to come, Captain Carlos. Like Jake always says, though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.